What's going on DMG clan? Today, I'm gonna cover everything you need to know about the Odin 2 in 2024. I've done it before, but I thought I'd share a little bit more. You're not gonna wanna miss this because I have something in store. The device you see before you is not the Nintendo Switch, it's the Odin 2. The Odin 2 base model, that is. I am playing on one of the most powerful, well, actually, it is the most powerful Android gaming devices in 2024. I say this because I have done vigorous testing from Nintendo Switch emulation to Nintendo 3DS emulation, which, by the way, Lime 3DS, I feel like has progressed quite a bit more than Citra did before. So, honestly, Nintendo 3DS emulation really has done its justice as well. Nintendo 3DS emulation, even on the Odin 2 base model, really outperforms the 3DS because, well, you can upscale it, you can make it do whatever you want it to do in regards to switching your screens, and play a lot of games obviously not every game out there but a lot of games really really well on a nice big screen like this and enjoy every moment of it now some of you are going to ask what about the playstation 2 emulator well i'm going to show you that right now so ps2 emulation really really proved its worth well the odin 2 proved its worth with ps2 emulation because i've played quite a few games even the more demanding ones like God of War, Need for Speed, obviously Need for Speed Most Wanted has issues no matter what on most uh, PS2 emulators, but, well, the one for PS PC at least and this one, but the Odin 2 really handled it really nicely, other than the fact that I can't play Crash Bandicoot while I'm talking, of course. Upscaled to about two to three X resolution, you're gonna get a nice looking picture quality. I know the camera probably doesn't show its justice, but staring at this screen, I literally feel like I have a portable PS2 in my hands. It's a really nice little device. And I say it is little because, well, it's not huge. It's not like the Asus Rogue Ally, for example, to be able to play PS2 on the go. Which leads me to my next thing, which you're all probably waiting for, is Wii and GameCube emulation. So let's start off with some GameCube emulation. This is one of the harder levels to render on a lot of devices, including my Retroid Pocket 4, for example, or even my Retroid Pocket 3 Plus and my Odin 2. Now, my Odin 2 does a really good job at it still, but, or not my Odin 2, I meant my Odin 1 Pro. I always call that my Odin 2 because it's my 1 Pro. I don't know. Anyways, so this Odin 2 base model just handles playing this like it's the actual thing you can set your controls up nicely crash into some ice blocks and just enjoy some gamecube on the go without any stutters without any graphical glitches or any audio stuttering or crackling or anything of the sort the device just plays everything the way it should now, what about Wii? Wii, on its own, for Android devices, is a little bit interesting to say the least. And I'm going to show you that right now. Now for Wii, as you can see, it is playing. No slowdowns in the graphics rendering. You can use a shake on an R2 button if you want to, like I've set up for my devices. but. You can also use the accelerometer inside of the device, just like so. And it works the way that a Wiimote is supposed to work. Now, of course, there are a lot of games that are very hard to configure, and that's not because of the device, and that's just because of the way that Dolphin is set up for Android. And I really hope that in the future, there is some sort of alternative method or maybe some more revolution patches like Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2, for example, that I've shared on the channel so that we can actually just use the full controls of our device and use it the way that we would want to use it like an actual Wii rather than having to buy a dolphin bar like I have, which I highly recommend you to buy a dolphin bar. I'll put a link in the description below about that. And it's just something that is really nice to see a lot of the more popular games i'm not gonna say that this is maybe a popular game it is obviously it's the game that came out with the wii but there's games that you know 
you need to use the pointer like Wii Sports, for example. And that's just not possible in a sense with a device like this because you're looking at the screen. Now again, that's not the device. That is the actual emulator itself and the device just handles everything so, so flipping well. Where I am calling this device the God device of 2024 at least, even though we have the A and Neo Pocket S coming out, I don't call that thing a gaming handheld whatsoever. I've seen reviews of it now, and I just would not buy that thing. And I didn't buy that thing. I'm letting you know that right now. I know some of you said, oh, I can't wait to see your review about it. Even though I said I was, wasn't going to buy it, I'm still not going to buy it. I'm not wasting my money on something that isn't going to do anything for me, even though it does, you know, look like a PS Vita, and I like the PS Vita. But it also is like a device that is kind of not looking like it's going to be a successor to the Odin 2. Yeah, it has a nicer processor, but what's the purpose of that? Because a lot of these emulators that I'm showing you right now are being ran on the Odin 2 base model, which is the 8 gigabyte model. And right now I do have the what's called the virtual RAM memory swap turned on. Only reason for that is because I was doing Switch emulation and I was doing videos of gameplay footage that I've been sharing on only Patreon for obvious reasons. I cannot share it on YouTube. I don't want to share it on YouTube right now for obvious reasons. If you've been in the community for a while, you'll know why it might be a little bit scary to share that kind of stuff. But I have been really impressed and I've shared a lot of really impressive things about just the Odin 2 base model in the past to the point where I haven't even touched very much my Odin 2 Max model that you see right here. Why am I telling you this? Well, if you made it this far into the video, I'm gonna let you know right now to hype up the Odin 2 giveaways that I'm running right now. There's six more Odin 2s right now. No, five more, five more. Four base models, including one white model that's going to one of the members on the channel. And as a bonus Odin 2 giveaway, wait for it, take a breather, sit down. I'm going to give away my custom Odin 2 Max model to one of you guys. Only if and when I reach 100,000 subscribers. I'm hoping to reach that by the end of 2024, if not sooner. This means that I need help from you guys. I need you to subscribe to the channel. There's been multiple viewers on the channel that have not subscribed, but have viewed my videos. And by now I should have probably about quarter million subscribers, to be honest, with how many views and how many, uh, like basically people just coming by and just watching them one or two videos. Technically, I should have about quarter million subscribers on the channel that enjoy gaming and they just forget to hit that subscribe button. Percentage wise, only 93% of you, approximately 93% of you are actually not subscribed to the channel, but view my videos. I appreciate everybody that does subscribe. And yes, you heard that right. I'm giving away this Odin 2. This is the blue model, Odin 2 Max model that I honestly have not played around with a lot. I recently reset it because it's gonna go away in a box that it came in and it's gonna go to one of you guys. It has a screen protector. It has this custom skin on the front that everybody loves. It has the custom white buttons. And yes, again, that's why the thumbnail of this video is this device because I thought you guys would love to own the Odin 2 Max model and the way to enter for that is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to release another video about that coming up soon. But again, yes, I'm giving this away to one of you. Now, what about the Odin 2 giveaways that I am running right now? Because you're probably wondering about that. The next Odin 2 base model giveaway is going to be ran once I have reached 15,000 subscribers, which is very soon. And I'm releasing one more video after this to gain one more entry into that video, not including this one, because yes, if you comment on this video and subscribe to the channel, you will gain one entry into the Odin 2 base model giveaway for the next Odin 2 base model that I'm giving away. Now, there's two more Odin 2 base models that I'm giving away that are gonna be the fourth and the fifth Odin 2 base model, and they're customized. I shared pictures about these the other day. If you've been on the channel for a while, one is customized with Xbox buttons and a custom vinyl Cricket style decal that I created. Yes, I created it with the Cricket for the Xbox. So 
so it kind of has like an xbox kind of feel to it i also created a playstation style one and that one also is going to be the very last odin 2 base model that i'm giving away to all of you but wait there's even more of course, there's more. What I'm gonna tell you right now, if you have been a member for at least three months, you are going to gain access to a new feature that I am just changing for members as of today, where you can get double the entries based off your membership tier for your entries into any of these giveaways. So if you've never won an Odin 2 already and you wanna win an Odin 2 and you've been a member for three months, base members, by default, automatically, when they first sign up, they get five entries. That's five bonus entries or five entries automatically, no matter what, this includes Patreon, to any and all giveaways. Gamer members, they get 10 entries automatically. So if you've missed any videos or missed any extra comments or anything like that, and you don't have time to sit there and comment on all my stuff, which I get sometimes, you get 10 entries no matter what. Master members, they get 15. 15 bonus entries or automatic entries into any and all giveaways. Again, this means that if you don't have time to comment on all my videos, then you'll no matter what, get 15 bonus entries. Now, what does that mean? Well, I've had some members, master members, gamers, that have been members, generic members that is, for more than three months now, and they're gonna get double those numbers for any and all giveaways. So if you've been a member for three months and you've been a master member, you're gonna get not 15, but 30 total bonus entries to any and all giveaways. And the reason why I do this is because I appreciate every one of you and I do give back to the community. And I also give back something physical via the mail to all of my members after six months of being a member on the channel. If you don't know anything about the memberships, I did a video about that. And again, it's really just something I like to do. I like to share this kind of stuff with all of you. And I know I'm kind of veering off about the actual Odin 2 base model, but you can see that it's really a really powerful device. I just want to explain to you guys that it's just something that I really enjoy doing as a side job, a side hobby, and a side gig all at the same time. YouTube, I sleep, eat, drink, think, YouTube. And I also think about what I'm going to do next to make my last video even better. Not just do giveaways all the time, but I do like to do that because you guys are helping the channel grow. And I'm looking at this as sort of a business kind of thing in a sense, but also an enjoyable kind of thing at the same time because I do enjoy doing this and I appreciate everybody that just hits that subscribe button that actually views the videos and enjoys my content and all of the same. Now, all that being said, the Odin 2 base model really impresses me. $299 plus tax and shipping, depending on where you live, you can get this device and play Wii, Nintendo 3DS, PlayStation 2, some Nintendo Switch, quite a few Nintendo Switch games to be honest, with a nice controller ergonomic device with nice buttons, nice feeling, everything else. And it's just a really, really slick God device. And it I can't see anything doing better when it comes to Android gaming. Yes, just get the base model, grab a 256 gigabyte micro SD card, slap all your games on there, keep all your internal storage to all your emulators and your apps and stuff, and enjoy gaming on the go. Because all of these games that you saw me play are right off of the micro SD card, and I'm gonna still continue sharing some gameplay footage on Patreon if you wanna become a Patreon member. See you later. That is all I have to say. I know this was a long video, but if you made it to certain sections of this video and you are a member right now, Members will know about this because I'm going to tell them. And yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Bye! -bye.